Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Today my power was out, so we've just been doing a whole lot of nothing all day until it's now five o'clock on Monday. Um, and I'm finally home. I went over to my, why am I giving you like my life story, my life update? I went over to my parents' house, charged my phone. Then I went over to Josh's grandma's house. I brought Bandit with me everywhere because I just figured that he wanted to have a nice day out on the town um, and see people. Like it always makes his day when he gets to like see other humans that are not my husband and myself. So I wanted to just like throw on some makeup real quick and then talk about my empties and anything that I brought into my collection um, this month. So I am actually gonna be, I am filming this super early. This is the 21st when I'm filming this. It's gonna go up tomorrow, hopefully. It's the plan. Um, but I, <laughs> I've only bought one item and it was like a replenishment item. So I'm not really like mad about it. Um, and then I'm not planning on buying anything else the rest of the month. And I've been pretty darn good with like, I've low key done like all an almost three month low buy, no buy really. Um, I bought one thing and it was only because I was buying the same item for Josh's grandma because she asked me and I was like, you know what? I should re-up that. It's been a while since I had that. And I really, really like this product. So I'm going to talk about my, what has come into my collection, um, within the past month. And then I will talk about my trash because the trash definitely outweighs the amount of products that I brought in. Um, so the first thing I didn't purchase this, but Influencer sent me, um, this Joa mascara and lash primer. And y'all, I love both of these products. These are, they're super, super nice. Um, I've noticed that this, um, First of all, both again, both of them are really, really great products. The Lash Primer, super, super good. Um, it's like a volumizing wand. So not my all-time favorite kind of style of wand or applicator, but for a Lash Primer, I don't really care. But the mascara has the same wand, which isn't my favorite, but using it with a Lash Primer, I like this kind of wand so much more. It is the mascara. I don't know if you'll really be able to see. I have it on my lashes right now. Uh, and I really like it. I have it without the lash primer on. I will have, um, a more in depth review over on my Instagram. I took like one side with primer, one side without primer. Then I went for a run and checked back in. And then I did like my normal lash primer and then this lash primer on different eyes with the same mascara. And then I want to do the same, like the different lash primers with the same different mascara. My elf keep your curl to see how, like just how I like the different formulas that I've been trying. So I will have a more in-depth review over on my Instagram in the next coming days, but I, so far I really like these and I believe they're drugstore. I don't know the price. I will have it on the screen somewhere, um, but I've, I've actually really enjoyed these so far. So I'm excited to continue to keep using those. Then the other product that I've brought into my collection is one of my tried and true skincare products. It's rose hip seed oil. I swear by rose hip seed oil, um, when me and, Josh and I went to Costa Rica to visit his uncle and he got a severe sunburn on his head, um, like all right here that I swear this stuff prevents scarring or helps like cell turnover and like helps if you have any scarring. So I really bought this because I have, I haven't really mentioned it, but I've been working out more and I have like some stretch marks like on my belly that I would like to like start applying rose hip seed oil to see if it'll help diminish the look of my stretch marks um a little quicker than just like normal so i i bought this and also i like it as like a moisturizer in like any acne scarring that i have i swear this stuff works to like get rid of my acne scarring so i will continue to use this and i'm very happy um i just picked it up on amazon i know amazon is like not ideal to purchase things but um ulta like only sells like really tiny bottles and it just, I was making a, an Amazon purchase for like a bunch of other random crap. So I figured I would just tack that on into my cart and it's fine. Um, I do want to say I am decluttering a couple items and I posted this on my Instagram. It's just a few eyeshadows. Um, they just don't perform that well, or I'm just, I, I don't reach for the colors. This one is Luxie, like, this is Luxie Lucky Charm and it's just never had color payoff like ever. Like there's nothing on there. There's nothing on there. So, um, I, 
I don't need to hold on to this. I have other colors. I have a, a two other colors that are very similar to this, so I, I can let this one go and be fine with it. Then all of these like grungy tones, I definitely have them over and over and over in my collection, um, whether it's in the Urban, not the Urban Decay, the Anastasia Beverly Hill subculture, the Natasha Denona Safari, um, any other random single that I have that is like a grungy green or like these darker purples. Um, I have these. I have these colors and then these shades in particular just don't perform the best. And in these cases, I will never like reach for them. Like this just doesn't perform that well anymore. This performs nicely, but I have this color in subculture. I have it in my Natasha Denona Safari palette and I have it in my C color Savannah palette that Haley gifted me. So I have really no need for these and I'm just kind of ready to purge them out um, of my stash so that I have some items that I'm decluttering this month and I'm fine with that. Ideally, I'd use them up, but I just, I don't have the drive to do it, to use it, especially if they don't perform well. So let me go back to May for my empties and we can go down the list of my May empties first before we segue over to my June empties. Now my May empties definitely pale in comparison to my June empties um, in terms of monetary value. Um, quantity, I definitely finished more in May than I did in June, yet like the value of it is like astronomically not as much. So let me just, I'm going to go down the list um, from what I finished first to like what I finished last. So the first thing, I finished these in conjunction so I can talk about them in conjunction, um, are these little foundations. So I have the LA Girl Pro Mixing Color Foundation. This is in the white shade. And then I have the Cover Girl, wow. And then I have the Cover Girl um, Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation in the shade Buff Beige. This was a little bit too dark. Obviously, this is white and it's definitely too light for my skin, but mixing them together um, made a pretty good foundation shade, especially as we transitioned into the summer weather and I was like too too light to wear or too fair to wear this, but needed like I wanted to continue to wear it. So I'm so happy. I like scraped everything that I could out of the buff beige. I don't know if you'll be able to really see in there. I scraped everything that I possibly could with a makeup spatula and like the little straw that sucks the product up in the pump. Um, so I, I got as much use as I possibly could out of this. Same thing with this. I scraped as much as I could, um, as much as I could get out of there. Definitely feel like I did a better job scraping this than the CoverGirl one, but it is what it is. I'm happy that these are out of my collection. Um, this is, retails for $8.99, this retails for $6.99, or did, whenever I bought it, it was $6.99. I had, like, made a note of that. But this is discontinued, you can't get it, and I didn't actually end up liking it as much as I thought that I liked it within using it to its completion. It broke down on my face in weird areas. Then I'm counting myself a small dollar value for this sample because you can buy this sample size. I got this with a gift from, with purchase, but I will give myself the monetary credit. So this is the Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. I used one of these up last year and I didn't like it as much as I liked this one this year. I think the one that I used last year was super old. So this one actually was very, very nice. And I could see myself buying a full size or like another trial size, like this size of the Glycolic by Mario Badescu. I was actually very impressed, like using it within like the time frame that I should have been using it. Um, it was a lot nicer. I liked it a lot more. Um, then I have this guy, which my bandit got a hold of and chewed the top off, but it was finished, so it didn't really matter. This is my Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Oil. I really liked this. I really, really enjoyed this, and I could see myself repurchasing this, um, but when I, I was placing an Ulta order, and they didn't sell this particular product at Ulta, which I don't know why they like sometimes carry some items, sometimes they don't carry items, so they didn't carry this in online at least, and so I just bought a cleansing balm to add into my Ulta order a while ago. So this um, this is done. I really liked this again. It definitely had a scent to it. It was definitely like florally chamomile. Um, so if you, you're very sensitive to scents, I would stick away from this, but I'm not super sensitive to scents, but it did not linger on the skin after like you washed it off. It was fine. And it did a really good job removing the makeup. Then the last item that I finished that gives me dollar value is this guy. And this is my Pureology Pure Volume um, Serum for my hair. 
I got this at Marshall's. It was $2.99. So we're giving myself $2.99 credit. But I have a really hard time actually like using hair product. I just don't use product in my hair. As you can see, I take such good care of my hair. It's just chucked up in a bun half the time because it's so freaking long. So I finished this and I'm very happy about it. I wouldn't repurchase it mainly because I just a product in my hair is just such an extra step and like I didn't notice anything particular but I don't blow dry my hair all too often so like take it with a grain of salt I finished um a couple samples in May as well um I finished this Elemis uh pro collagen marine cream I use this as a hand cream I used it once on my face and it like I did not appreciate the breakouts that that gave me then same thing with this guy this is the it confidence in a cream i have used one of these before on my face and i liked it but i use this as a hand cream because i'm all out of hand lotion so i need i need to buy a hand lotion it's like moral of the story then i finished this guy this was a like a sample sachet of this tatcha liquid canvas uh primer i liked this i'm annoyed how much i liked this because she's expensive if you buy the actual full size so i'm annoyed that i like this but i i like it in june i finished um a very small amount of products but they were surprisingly like high ticket i guess so the first item i finished in june is this guy and if you guys remember i was panning this in my deck of panning project pan and in that project i only had a goal to get to like the middle of the writing and i was like i'm just gonna like finish this off now I a lot of people suggested so wonderfully to like do progress updates on Instagram guess who is the worst at Instagram so she forgot to take progress shots however I did finish this so I just wanted to like check in let you know this sucker retails for $90 and I am counting it the full dollar value since this was a gift from my mom I think she got it from Ulta she might have bought like got some points off with it but I'm sure she probably paid full price so ninety dollars or sixty it was like something ridiculous how much was this this was sixty dollars which is like that's expensive i liked it so much though it was just like very light light floral but still like had a little bit of sweetness to it super super pretty scent really really enjoy mark jacobs daisy line in general so then the second item I finished, again, you would have seen this in my deck of panning, but she's gone. This monster, why did I like take this out? This monstrosity of a concealer, she's gone, she's done. I don't have to look at her anymore after this video at least. Um, I took the stopper out and I scraped every doggone thing that I could out of there. Like there is nothing, nothing in there. And I'm very happy. I'm ready for this to be gone. I've really been enjoying my other concealers and I'm happy about that. Um, that was my oldest concealer. Everything else I bought last year. So every, all of my other concealers are like a year old and that's it. And I'm like, yes, so excited. Then the last item is this guy here. This is a shower gel. This is the Frosted Coconut Snowball. I love this scent so much. This is such an amazing scent. Oh, so very coconutty. It's just so good this is such a good fragrance um however i don't know if i want to buy shower gels anymore especially not from bath and body works so i'm using a bar soap now but this took me two months to finish like it takes me so long to go through shower gel like why am i just gross but that is it so for june i finished 102 dollars and 50 cents worth of product which is just it's a lot Okay, so that means altogether this year I have finished $643.04 of product and I have only you or I've only purchased $410.24 of product. Now, if I was smart, I would have already done the math, but I haven't. So that means we've spent 63% of what we've used up. I hope that makes sense. Um I really like to keep it like half like we've used up or we've spent half of what we've used up so like I keep gauging it like the right way we're trending in the right direction where I'm using up my stash more than I'm bringing new stuff in um but I'm 63% I'm fine with it's like 64% I'm totally fine with it um I can maybe just not buy anything else all July maybe maybe 
Um, and we can just like continue to like use more product than we are bringing in. Let me know if you are also like just kind of at makeup fatigue and spending fatigue and don't really want to spend money on things. Um, that's definitely how I am right now. So I hope you guys are doing well, staying healthy, sane, and safe, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.